B.Tech or B.Sc. Which one's better for a tech career? Making this crucial choice can be confusing. Let's break it down in this video and towards the end, we'll give you a few cheat codes that can help you become successful in whichever stream you choose. Let's start with an overview of B.Tech and B.Sc. B.Tech is a four-year engineering degree. You can specialize in computer science, electronics and communication, mechanical engineering and more. It provides a clear, structured path, blending theory with a bit of practical learning. B.Sc. on the other hand cover various scientific subjects. It is more research-oriented with a focus on theoretical knowledge and scientific principles. The three-year degree is centered around pure sciences covering subjects like mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, computer applications and more. If you love learning deep concepts and are interested in research or teaching, B.Sc. gives you that solid base. It is tough to choose, right? Don't worry, I'm here. I'll make it super easy for you to choose. But before you move forward, hit that like button. Now, with more power, let's look into the pros and cons of both choices. Starting with the positives first. Number 1. Popular choice. One thing is very clear. B.Tech seems to be the number one choice for a bachelor's degree in India. Lakhs of students compete in the entrance exam every year. This year alone, 14,15,110 students appeared in the JEE mains exam. Number 2. Opportunities in engineering field. B.Tech can lead to roles in specific engineering areas like software development or electronics. If you are aiming for an engineering career, B.Tech provides a direct route. Hope the pros of B.Tech are clear now. Let's move on to the pros of B.Sc. Number 1. Shorter duration. B.Sc. is a 3-year course, so you can finish faster. You can start working or go for higher studies a year before than B.Tech students. Number 2. Strong theoretical foundation. If you love learning deep concepts and are interested in research or teaching, B.Sc. gives you a solid base. The pros must have given you some clarity. Now let's look into cons of these two streams beginning with B.Tech. Number 1. It's competitive and intensive. Getting into a good B.Tech college is tough because of entrance exams like JEE. The course can also be intense and overwhelming because of the number of subjects, labs and projects. Number 2. It's a little more expensive. B.Tech usually costs more than B.Sc. This can be a financial strain on some families. Number 3. It takes longer. It's a four-year program, so you can take up jobs a year later compared to B.Sc. graduates. Moving on, let's talk about the cons of B.Sc. Number 1. Broad Overview While B.Sc. teaches you the basics, it doesn't dive deep into specific areas like B.Tech does. If you want to specialize in fields like AI or cybersecurity, you might need further studies or certification after your B.Sc. to stand out. Number 2. Critical Campus Choice B.Tech colleges usually have more students and are well known to companies looking for engineering graduates. As a result, B.Tech students may have more job opportunities directly through their college. For B.Sc. students, you might need to search for jobs off campus or put an extra effort to find opportunities. However, it heavily depends on the institute you are getting into. Some institutions that offer B.Sc. have a better placement track record than many engineering colleges. So choice of college becomes super important. But can one degree really guarantee a better career than the other? Not really. Your skills, hard work and experience matters more than the degree. Many successful tech professionals started with a B.Sc. and grew their careers through continuous learning and effort. Similarly, having a B.Tech degree doesn't automatically ensure success. You still need to put in the work and build the skills that companies need. Now, it's time to unveil the cheat codes I promised you at the start of the video. Learn to code. Start coding early and practice regularly. Build projects. Apply what you learn by creating apps, websites or other projects. Get internships. Real-world experience is very valuable. Stay updated. Attend workshops and seminars to learn about the latest tech trends. Network. Connect with professionals and other students in the industry. 
And do you know the place where you can do all of these and more while getting your BTEC or BSc degree? It's NIAT. With a real-time adaptive curriculum and world-class software engineers as mentors, you build skills and become industry ready. To know more about NIAT, I'll share the link in the description. Go check out the new age learning. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more such content. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.